Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain how you can make your own coffee mug warmer using the method called induction heating. This kind of heating is especially effective with, for this kind of coffee mug which has outer layer plastic and inside is stainless steel. Only the coffee or tea inside will be heated and rest will remain at room temperature. At the bottom of this video you'll find several links which explain all the build instructions and all kinds of information. The inductively heated coffee mug warmer parts are shown here. This is the coffee mug uh, which will be used to heat uh, inductively. This box contains all the electronics. And this is the PCB which is residing in the box. Also a thermocouple is used to measure the temperature while a coffee being heated. And also ordinary cup can be used, ceramic cup can be used with a spoon to heat the coffee inside. A meter is used to measure the current. In case of resistive heating, a heating element is connected to a power supply. As a result, current will flow and heat generated can be represented by I squared R. Uh, in case of induction heating, a conductive loop is powered by an alternating source and as a result, alternating magnetic field will be created and this magnetic field will create uh, induced voltage if a metal block is placed very close to that loop and as a result AD current will be generated within that metal piece and the power represented by the uh, same way as the resistive heating I AD current squared into R. To get effective induction heating all we need very high current through the loop as a result higher magnetic field will be generated higher eddy current and higher heat The coffee mug should be placed on top of a coil and the coil is supplied with an alternating current source. So to get higher current through the coil we are using a technique called resonance. A capacitor is connected in parallel with the coil and as a result though the current flowing through the source is not much but uh, the coil itself is getting very high current because of the resonance. And this slide shows how a current is becomes very high at resonance and the resonant frequency is represented by a formula that is also shown in the in this slide. So this is the practical coil that is used to heat the mug, a capacitor and the coil and the resonant frequency is shown 23 kilohertz. So inside the box a electronics is there and uh, how this electronic circuit works I'll try to explain there are two switches electronic switches when the top switch is on current flows through the coil and when the bottom switch is on the charged capacitor will be discharged so a alternating current will be generated in the coil 
and there is a inductor in play a bit uh, just before that to make it pure AC and this is the electronic circuit and in place of two switches now I am go going to test the coffee mug warmer with 48 volt supply voltage uh, because with 48 volt supply voltage I can get 100 degree uh, centigrade for the coffee so I am taking water and <clears throat> I'm also using a thermocouple along with a meter to measure the temperature inside so it is connected to the driver circuit and the emitter is also connected in series with the 48 volt supply so it is already tuned at the resonance and you can see nearly 379 or 78 milliampere now when the mug is placed it is 1.4 amp i'm turning on the temperature meter and it is now 39 degrees centigrade and slowly the temperature will rise and i'll measure time and the temperature as well you can see slowly the temperature is going up Now it is 60 degrees after some time. After several minutes, it is nearly 76 degrees. Now close to the boiling point after nearly 20 minutes. And you can see it is boiling now. I opened the top cover and you can see the water boiling. Now I am trying to tune uh, the LC tuning uh, circuit at the resonant frequency. You can see I am changing the frequency and monitoring the current of the supply voltage. Supply voltage is set at 32 volt. So as you can see I am increasing and decreasing the frequency and the current is going up and down. So this is the minimum 238 milliampere. So this is the resonant frequency at which the current is minimum and I am also measuring the voltage across the coil by using the scope and it is nearly 32 volt and the frequency is 24 kilohertz. 24 kilohertz is the resonant frequency of the uh, coil and capacitor combination circuit. Now I am placing the coffee mug inside, you can see the current jumps to 946 milliampere. So the power, the higher power, uh, uh, the extra higher power is just going to hit the uh, inside of the coffee mug.
Now for the ordinary coffee mug, it cannot be heated because of the ceramic material, but you can place a metal spoon inside and you can see the change in current. So, and you'll feel the spoon is getting heated after some time. So you can try with different types of spoons. Some spoons uh, get heated quickly and some takes longer time. 